Hello everyone, Patrick. Today's second video. Going to have a look at where well, next week, 10 days for today's second video. We'll also have a look at the Beijing Climate Centre uh, for the next 40 days. It'll take us into the middle of June. So we've just released a five-day forecast. You can find that video here on the homepage. Uh, it is above the video. It's above the uh, polling count. There's also a written version. You can get that from the buttons at the top of the page. Now we're going to be in for a lot of anticyclonic weather over the uh, next five days. Having a little bit of a blip today, but once that's out of the way it's really high pressure all the way uh, through to monday for most of us uh, so a lot of dry and increasingly by the weekend sunny and warm weather coming up as well and i can tell you that i won't give me anything away that's going to be the trend for the next week to 10 days as well with a lot of high pressure continuing to uh, dominate the weather so no change on the updates we've been doing uh, just recently um and then of course we'll extend out beyond that with the beige club center see what that's showing as we go through into the early part of the summer so just say that uh, this evening uh, i have an update for a few festivals did the first one of those a couple of nights ago uh so i'll have another update for a few of those festivals that are coming up over the uh late spring bank holiday weekend for you tonight uh so we'll start off with the centering temperature from hadley so we're at the halfway point of the month uh now of course and uh been another pretty warm uh month as well so far so may provisionally is coming out at 12 Point two, an anomaly of uh, around one and a half degrees above average. Uh, that's provisional up to yesterday, uh, the 15th of, uh, of May. So it has been quite a warm sort of start uh, to the month. Most definitely the first half of the month has been significantly warmer than average. It follows on from April, which also came out uh, really quite warm as well. March was cold, of course. We didn't have that cold uh, March. We also had uh, quite a cold February as well, January was uh, generally on the mild side. So it looks like we're going to come out with a warmer than average spring. Probably not a big deviation because of what happened in uh, March, a cold start to the spring. Um, but overall, for the three months as a whole, it does look as though it's probably going to come out a bit warmer than average, uh, despite that uh, very cold start. On the first day of March, you'll remember the first day of the meteorological spring, we did have our coldest uh, March and our coldest sort of spring day on record with maxima not getting uh, much above minus three and minus four degrees widely across the country on the first day of, uh, of March, on the first day of spring. But overall, and just to show you how the weather is always doing something strange, so despite that extraordinarily cold start to March and to the spring, Overall, the spring is going to come out a little bit warmer than average. And I think as well, this spring forecast has done quite well. Uh, we will evaluate that as we get through to the beginning of June. But I think we've had a reasonably successful forecast again uh, uh, for this spring. So we'll have more on that, of course, when we evaluate the forecast at the uh, end of the season when we get into the early part of June. Right, GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles uh, next. So these are the upper air temperatures, of course. The red line here is the 30-year upper air temperature average. Looking at Newcastle upon Tyne uh, today. So we're starting off around average at Newcastle. Uh, it is a little bit cooler compared to weather we've had recently. We've got this for another couple of days. But then look at this over the weekend and into next week. Those temperatures are lifting up. It looks like going into quite a warm phase. Dates are along the bottom of the... The uh, graph, and we actually get to the 1st of June now with the extended part of the uh, GFS and its ensembles. Uh, and it looks like temperatures are going to be solidly above average, ready from the weekend and possibly lasting through to the end of the month, though that's a very long way off, it is speculative, but pretty good agreement actually for what is the extended range of the ensemble, we normally get a lot of scatter in this period, but uh, actually really quite good agreement right way through to the end of the ensemble uh, for uh, temperatures to be significantly above average in the rest of May and even just at the start of June. And also plenty of dry weather coming up as well. So loads of dry weather for Newcastle uh, over the next week to weekend. A little bit more unsettled maybe early next week. I think Monday and Tuesday, and we cover this in the Friday forecast, might have some rain, possibly some thundery showers. But after that, through the second half of next week, and then going into the bank holiday period, it's actually looking uh, really quite dry once again. 
Service temperature on Sobble and Sanuka has looked like that. This is 10 degrees. This is 20 degrees. That's 30 degrees uh, up there. So we're starting off pretty chilly today and for tomorrow as well. But by the end of the week and into the weekend, the temperatures are lifting up, getting back close to 20 degrees uh, once again. Then edging down slightly through the early part of next week. Uh, and then kind of like flatlining really at that sort of level so holding up at around mid to upper teens celsius it looks like it's going to be pretty warm really from the weekend extending through next week but we do get that slightly more unsettled blip for the early part of next week uh, so this is how the GFS is looking for Sunday, with high pressure ridging across the country. Lots of dry weather coming up over the weekend. It will be a weather front in the far northwest, bringing some cloud and rain through to Ben. But essentially, it's a high pressure that's in control. Uh, early next week, we find the grain is just slackening a little bit. These little kinks in the isobars here uh, that we have on Tuesday for example, it's just telling us that there might be some disturbances within this easterly flow. So it wouldn't be ruling out the chance of some showers, maybe even for the north, some more persistent rain early next week. By the middle of next week, though, the high pressure is re-strengthening again. So that's how things are looking on Thursday, the 24th of May. High pressure, again, is well and truly in control of the weather, dominating uh, the weather across the UK and many northern western parts of uh, Europe under that high pressure too. High pressure continues up to the Bank Holiday weekend, that is... But Bank Holiday Weekend, look at that, uh, sunny 27th of May, sees a uh, 1,035 millibar area of high pressure sitting right over the top of the country. So this is shaping up, if it's right, it's shaping up to be uh, another following on from the May Day Bank Holiday Weekend. It's following on, it, it is promising to be another sort of classic uh, Bank Holiday Weekend coming up uh, for this late spring uh, bank holiday. That takes us back on in Monday, still with high pressure sitting over the top of the country, right at the very end of the month and to the first day of June, which is as far as we can go with the GFS. The high pressure is still more or less in control. It's just edging ever so slightly to our west and beginning to pull down some slightly cooler air from the northwest and the northern Atlantic. But essentially it is still high pressure dominating right way through to the end of May. Uh, East NRF looks like that. So again, the ridge through the country bring a lot of dry weather over over the weekend, that continuing into the early part of next week, although, again, signs of a little bit of wobbling in the atmosphere early next week, possibly enough to be producing some uh, heavy showers, maybe even a little bit of thunder. Then through the second half of next week, the high pressure re-strengthens as we head up towards the bank holiday weekend, we're being reinforced by the ridge, so a lot of dry weather going into the bank holiday weekend, up to day 10, uh, which is Saturday 26th of May, we continue to see that high pressure sitting over top of the country. So again, lots and lots of dry weather going into that Bank Holiday Weekend. And I will have that uh, festivals update for you for the Bank Holiday Weekend this evening. Uh, finally, just having a look at the charts of Beijing Climate Centre next 40 days. So these are 500 millibar heights. They're broken down into 10-day peers. The first 10-day peer will take us from the 16th through to the 25th of May. So from today, if you like, through to the 25th with above average heights over and to the east of the country uh, and also extending down into the Azores region as well then we've got uh, some below average heights to the uh, northwest, but jet streams going like that, so a lot of dry and pretty warm weather under all of that ridging in the uh, coming 10 days. The next 10 day period takes us from the 26th of May through to the 4th of June, and again, above average height, sitting very, very close to the country, so once more we see a signal for a lot of dry and uh, really quite warm weather as well. The jet stream would be going off up there somewhere, so on the warm side of the jet, we're underneath that ridge. That's a continuation of a lot of warm and dry weather through that 10 day period. Of course, do keep in mind it's an anomaly, so you will occasionally see deviations, kind of like what we've got today. Uh, so we know that the 10 day anomaly from today uh, through to the 25th, this one, is showing high pressure and above average heights and cyclonic weather uh, as the anomaly for the 10 days. We know that actually today it's a little bit more unsettled down in the south southwest, been some showery bursts of rain. So you will get day to day deviations. These are just kind of like 
if you average out the 10 day anomaly, that's how it looks with a lot of dry set of weather. And the same is true for the next 10 day uh, anomaly. But there will still be day to day uh, differences in terms of the small scale detail. And then we go through to the next 10 day period, which takes us from the 5th through to the 14th of June. And this one looks very different. All of a sudden, we've got this big area of below average heights setting up over the top of the UK. And over to Scandinavia as well. That's very unsettled weather and very cool as well. We'd be bringing the wind down from the northwest uh, with that. And uh, of course, with below average heights, which is low pressure, would be bringing showers or longer spells of rain. So suddenly go through that 10 day period and it's all changed to a very uh, sort of unsettled pattern. I may get through to the final 10 day period. You probably, you probably was a bit worried, but that was the start of a deterioration of the summer pattern. But actually, in the next 10 day period, final 10 day period, if you like, which takes us from the 15th to uh, the 24th of June, we find the above average heights come back again. So back to high pressure in the second half of June uh, with Beige Climate Centre today. And of course, that sends the jet stream back up to our north again. So overall, the extended period is looking very anti-cyclonic, going well into uh, June. We do get that strange 10-day period uh, from the 5th, I think from the 5th to the 14th, uh, where it all of a sudden goes quite unsettled and very cool. But uh, then it goes back to high pressure again, uh, interestingly, when we get that out of the way. So, of course, that's all very speculative stuff anyway. It's not really to be taken particularly seriously. But if we do take model at base value, it implies... We've been seeing this quite a bit with the uh, CFS and the JMA updates recently as well. It does imply that overall we are favouring, at the very least, anti-cyclonic weather for the rest of May. Not particularly uh, saying that June will be anti-cyclonic uh, as well. But say for the rest of May, we are favouring a lot of anticyclonic weather. And that brings us back to the next week's 10 days. High pressure is going to be in control uh, throughout most of the period. So expect plenty of dry weather. Yes, there will be day-to-day -day variations, in, particularly regionally around the country. Some days there'll be more cloud in some areas than others. Some days, like today, we may have showers places too. But overall, a lot of dry and settled weather coming up, uh, really for the rest of May. Right, come back later on, we'll have a look at those festivals, but that's all for now, and thanks for watching.